Hey guys, so I have a new story for you. You won't believe this. A TikToker whose username is called Daddy Strange 333 posted a clip filming a guy whose name Lawrence Martin, but they call him Larry. Apparently, he airdropped everybody in the plane with him an image of his donger. Remember, he airdropped everyone. Even children were not safe in this catastrophic event. Meet Larry who just airdropped the whole flight photos of his peepee. Thankfully, I accepted it, saw who was sending it, and immediately started speaking up. Stay tuned for the police escort. He actually said he did it just for fun. Unbelievable. First of all, I don't know about you guys, but I think this dude is a student of Sun Tzu. Because he took the strategy, attack when they least expected it, to a whole new level. I mean, imagine yourself in their situation. You're resting and relaxing, then BAM! A dick pic out of nowhere. This dude will definitely win the best unsolicited dick pic of the year award. Even fuckboys can't compete with this weirdo. Cause at least a fuckboy, you can at least expect it somehow, right? But this one? No, no. This dude is a fucking ninja. I don't think there is literally any positives here if you are the receiving end of this incident. I mean, there was a child who obviously got the airdrop, but fortunately did not accept it. But let's say he did. What good thing can you even say about this incident? Maybe down the line you can make this as a funny story to your friends or have a crack about it at your family gathering. like. Hey dad, remember when there was this creep who sent everybody a dick pic inside the plane? But aside from that, I can't really think of anything. I don't think Larry will also get anything from this. I mean, except his just for fun excuse. But aside from that, there is also a high possibility he will get fired for this. If he works for some company or something. I mean, at least he satisfied his kink or fetish, right? definitely worth it what was funny about this is that when i was a kid i remember years ago i saw a youtube video where some guy informing us about some teacher who masturbated in the hallways of the school out of nowhere imagine yourself when you were in high school or maybe even elementary and you're walking down the corridor of your school then boom a creepy middle-aged man beating his meat at your school in broad daylight. Now that is what I call an unforgettable moment. Unfortunately, I can't find the exact YouTube video I saw years ago, but I saw this video who had almost the same situation and it's also a middle-aged man. This might even be the actual guy that was in the video I saw years ago. A substitute teacher in Stanford is under arrest this morning after police say he was caught masturbating in a school hallway. I take it back. This isn't the guy I saw last time because of the next clip. 72 year old Michael Luke was seen by another faculty member laying down in a hallway and touching himself at West Hill High School yesterday. I really don't know what's with middle aged men and masturbation or dick pics. Like, what do you get from this? Do they enjoy seeing the terrified and disturbed faces of people when everyone sees their meat? For Larry in this case, like what reaction do you want from someone? Do you think someone will shot inside the plane and say something along the lines of nice dick man or awesome penis bro? And not only that, maybe he's one of those dudes that want everybody to know that he's got a nice donger or something like that. Maybe this guy should join OnlyFans, you know? Hear me out, cause this might sound crazy. Not only people there would want to see his dick, but, but, they will also pay for it. It's a win-win situation. Oh my gosh, I'm a fucking genius. Only fans, I think you should check your statistics of how many middle-aged people and senior citizens you have as content creators. Cause if you have a lot, then maybe you need a new site for that and maybe call it all defense. Dude, I'm on fire right now with these brilliant ideas. Remember, if all defense become a real thing, you heard it here first. Well guys, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future videos. See you guys next time. Peace.